Well, I got the engine stripped down to a pretty fair amount. Unfortunately, I found there was a lot of surface rust inside just from moisture for the most part. So, the uh, pistons, I'll throw some pictures in here, but the pistons don't look too bad. There's some white corrosion on them. It's not really heavy rust, so it'll probably clean out with a hone. And uh, we're going to just spraying everything down with oil now and I pulled the flywheel off so we're going to try to get this gear cover off where all the timing gears and everything are because there's oil holes on this side and you can see where the gears are just loaded with rust so this whole thing's pretty much going to have to be taken apart to get going again I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to save it but it's definitely going to take some work because uh, all the camshafts uh, for the valves and the valves are going to have to come out and get cleaned up and really it's all leaning on the pistons whether those are still in good shape so hopefully if they are um, along with everything else should be able to save this engine so let's get the gear cover off now we got the gear cover off here there's a pretty fair amount of rust underneath it Also, quite a bit of corrosion on the underside. Now we got the governor apart, which goes over the camshaft gear like that, which is kind of neat. And then as it rotates, the balls get pushed up the side. But most of the rust is wiping off with the Scotch Bright pad, so hopefully it'll clean up pretty good. see some movement. Yeah. Those other ones for the connecting rod are too far back on the second one to even grab. Well, my dad and I got a pretty fair amount done on the Onan engine that was on the welded generator. Got it stripped down quite a bit, got the timing gear covers off, and uh, cleaned all those out, got everything sprayed down with oil. As you guys saw, there was a lot of surface rust just from moisture for the most part in here. Uh, we got one of the caps off from the connecting rod, and we are hitting it down because we have it set up like this with the 2x3 or 4, a really small one. And we got it to move probably about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch because you can see, I don't know if you can, but there's a small gap right there in between the journal and the uh, connecting rod. So it is moving a little bit. What our goal was to do was to push it down this way and get it to spin up because then this will move out so that way we can get to this connecting rod. And uh, yeah, even that's loose now and then try to work this piston free. We're going to try to get both of them out. If all else fails, we'll try to at least get one for measurements and worst comes to worst, break them out. I'd like to find something comparable to these. I don't know if you can put in a different piston because I know these pistons for the Onans go for about, you know, around a hundred dollars, so not something I'd really want to have to replace. But the rest of it looks good. I haven't been into the carburetor yet or anything. I didn't want to pull any of this stuff off because I don't want to get a gasket kit for it. And I know I'd probably need manifold gaskets to pull everything apart. I got this end bearing plate off here. I just put that back on so we can hammer it. Got all the other parts here in the pile. So this will get cleaned up. I know the inside of this is going to need some cleaning up. It's really corroded inside. So 
Got a pretty fair amount of work done today. We got some acetone and some automatic transmission fluid sitting up here in the cylinder. Might try hitting it down later on today or let it sit for another day. So, there you have it folks. Just a little bit of more, a little bit more work on the Lincoln Weather Generator.